Hello everyone and welcome to this edition of Splash and Go. So, turns out we're going to have, uh, looks like Goodyear after, you know, the lackluster, lackluster short track racing we've had so far this season. Uh, looks like Goodyear's going to be coming up with a new tower compound to maybe help fix that. Uh, we also, we have a couple drivers that's going to be switching rides. Or we're getting the first chance in rides. We'll get to that in a minute. And we have the entire Talladega review. All this coming up in this edition of Splash and Go. So, turns out that Goodyear and NASCAR, alright, have come together and they could change the the tire compounds to help the short track racing package and that would be vital I really hope that whatever they figure out works then we had uh looks like Greg Van House is going to be getting his opportunity in the Xfinity series he's going to run for the Al number 45 Alpha Prime Racing Chevy um in the Xfinity series race at Atlanta now, turns out that, uh, mm, people on the front row was, for the Xfinity race, was Austin Hill on the pole and Sheldon Creed to the outside of him, his teammate, to se in second. Justin Allgaier, he was able to win stage one. Very, very racy today. But, there was no cautions. Lap 37. <coughs> Jeremy Clements comes down pit road, making an unscheduled pit stop, because he had a flat tire. Lap 39, the number 24, Parker Chase. The number 31, Parker Rex Clap. The number 78, Anthony Alfredo, all were involved in the incident. Chase got spun into, and that's pretty much it. Uh, lap 48. The zero, zero 02 of Blaine Perkins and number 66 of Dexter Stacy both got spun and slammed into, into the wall. Lots of damage for both drivers. And they're probably both going to be out. They were both out of the race. It all started when the number 66 of Dexter Stacy got loose coming off turn 2 and slammed the inside wall. The spinning number, number 66 caused the O2 of Blaine Perkins to spin towards the wall in front of the number 5 of Jade Buford. Buford hit Perkins, and Perkins was sent into a barrel roll seven or eight times. It was crazy. One of the tires from Perkins, number 02, flew off and actually landed on the hood of Kaz Grala. That was some interesting footage to watch. It was really cool. Bad, but it was interesting, you know. Now... The race was forced to be put under red flag. Number 02 of Blaine Perkins was transported to a local medical facility. But it was mostly just precautionary. Now, Jeb Burton won stage 2. On lap 85, the 18 of Sammy Smith spun after the 9 of Brandon Jones hit him from the rear. The 18 spun down and slammed the inside wall. Jones, he had some heavy damage to his nose of the car. Smith, like I said, he slammed the inside wall super, super hard, but he was alright. But the 18 race car is out of the race today. The AMR safety team had to tow the JGR Toyota back to the team's hauler. Smith did climb out under his own power, though, thankfully. With 39 laps to go, the one of Sam Mayer got sideways, and his teammate, the number 9, Brandon Jones, was also collected. And then the caution came out. On lap 86, the 19 Ryan Truex was trying to bump draft his teammate, the number 20, John Hunter Nemechek, after the 20 moved up right up in front of him. It happened in the tri where the cars get very, very light. John Hunter Nemechek really slammed the inside wall, flush on the driver's side. John Hunter Nemechek was okay. He was able, actually, at, he was able to drive away. With broken suspension. Now, with 20 laps to go, the number 7, Allgaier, the number 8, jo Josh Berry, 
Number nine, Brandon Jones. They were all out of the event following this crazy wreck. There was one more di caution. Daniel Hemrick slammed, slammed the inside wall and rolled over due to the fact that it let several drivers, several drivers, get their career best finish because this happened on the very last lap. You know? I mean, <clears throat> we had really, <laughs> I mean, Jeb Burton won the race. Okay. Uh, Sheldon Creed finished second. Parker Kligerman finished third. Cole Custer finished fourth. Brendan Poole. Yeah, Brendan Poole got a top five. Finished fifth. Uh, Cesar Baccarala finished sixth. Parker Rice class seventh. Gray Galling eighth. Joey Gase in his his own car ninth. And the man, the man, the man, the nine, number ninety two, the Parkett man, Josh Williams, got a top ten and tenth. Now on to the Cup Series. Now. We had Denny Hamlin on the pole and Eric Almarola in second to his outside. Lap 36, the 45 Reddick spun coming in onto pit road. No damage. Lap 45, a small group of cars were heading onto pit road when the 14 Chase Briscoe spun, spun in front of the little group coming into pit road. Briscoe got struck and couldn't move across sideways on pit road because he had a flat tire. And yes, that did result in a caution. Then we had Chase Elliott win stage one. Alright. Joey Logano, he kicked off a huge wreck. At lap 86, Chastain got into Graxon. He hit him hard. Number five, Kyle Larson hit hard. Went went behind the wall. Number four, Kevin Harvick. He hit. And the number 41, of Ryan Priest. Also had some damage. Along with the number 54, Ty Gibbs. And the number 10, Eric Almarola. They all sustained minimal damage. Well, the last two sustained minimal damage. On the last overtime attempt, number 23, Bubba Wallace was leading and getting pushed by his friend, the number 12, Ryan Blaney. Well, he got squirrely and Ryan ended up spinning him. And he collected the number 16 at AJ Olmendinger. Number 23, he got spun out hard and pushed. It just horribly collected a couple different people. But Almondinger was one of the main ones he collected. Kyle Bush, though, he was able he was able to secure the victory at Talladega. Boy, that Talladega race sure was wild. Congratulations to Kyle Bush on the victory. Well guys, that's gonna do it for us here at Splash and Go. Don't don't forget. Flash and Go keeps you in the know on all the latest NASCAR news, rumors, and results. So, right down here, or here, there's going to be a little a little box. And it's going to say, subscribe. Well, please subscribe, because I really need subscribers. Flash and Go keep you in the know on all the latest NASCAR news, rumors, and results. Thanks for watching, guys. Thank you.